Hey guys, and welcome back to the School Finesse Podcast. I'm your host, Amen. Last week, I tested out a different format for the pod, but I think I'm sticking to a regularly scheduled format for now. All right, so today we're talking about midterms. Some of you are in the middle of midterms, just finished or just beginning. Regardless of where you are on the midterm spectrum, you'll hear some useful information on today's episode. And then later on in our news fix, I'll tell you about an amazing $46 million renovation at one university. So now I have the word of the week, cantankerous, C-A-N-T-A-N-K-E-R-O-U-S, bad-tempered, argumentative, and uncooperative. Google has this wonky example sentence. This is a kind of phrase or something like that. A crusty, cantankerous old man. Well, hopefully that phrase there helps you to remember the word cantankerous. All right. Well, today, as I said, we are talking about midterms. I have to give you these five tips that Stacey Keller wrote about in her post titled, Midterms, Five Tips to Help You Ace Your College Exams. Number one, study, but don't stress yourself out. I know what you're thinking. You're like, I've heard this tip before. This is the same thing that I hear for every exam. But wait, let me tell you what Stacy emphasizes here. She says, study, but don't stress yourself out if, quote, you've gone to class all semester done your work and taken notes, end quote. So basically, if you've done your part, been taking thorough notes, showing up, you shouldn't be overstressed with the midterm. On the other hand, if you've been absent or have poor notes, you may want to take just a little extra study time for the exam. All right, number two, stay healthy. Now you're really thinking you've heard these tips already, but hold on. When you start studying, writing, and preparing for the exam, you may find yourself just eating whatever comes out of Daenerys vending machine. Remember to take some time to enjoy a full meal, and don't forget, find some time to sleep. Number three, ask for help. Ask your pairs for notes, visit your professor at their office hours for clarification on terms or diagrams or whatever you're unsure of. Don't show up the day of the exam full of uncertainty. I use this tip quite often in one of my classes for this semester. If you don't know, I'm a university senior, and in one of my classes, we have intense exams, which are comprised of 90% of the professors in class lectures. So taking notes and taking them quickly is my top priority. So what I've done is I've teamed up with a peer who sits right next to me. I write the notes and she types on her laptop. Whatever I miss, she probably has it. And if there's a diagram to draw or a visual part of the lecture that is clear on paper, I make sure to write that down. And then some days, honestly, you may just be out of it and just tired or having a bad day. My pair and I have learned to read each other well. So if I'm not writing a ton, she's probably typing a lot. If I see her and she isn't typing much, I'll pick up on my writing. We just have each other's backs and we figured out what works best for us. And the best part about it is when it's time for the exam, we open up a Google Doc and I add my notes, she adds hers, and we both have those notes to study. So make sure you ask for help or just find someone that you can team up with in the class. Of course, the other person doesn't have to be your best bud, but just make sure that you guys get along and can work together. Number four, make sure you have at least an hour each day to relax. While you're studying for your exams, don't forget to just take a break. It can be a five minute or 10 minute break every hour. Just get up, stretch, talk to someone, check your social media, because of course you weren't checking your phone every three minutes while you were studying, right? But remember to take a break. It's healthy for you. And finally, number five, keep your head up and stay confident. While you're studying, you may find out that, oh, you've forgotten some information from the lectures or you're just not understanding some parts of the text. Just remember, don't beat yourself up over it and don't start calling yourself names and saying you're about to quit the class and everything like that. Just encourage yourself through it. You know, you might tell yourself, okay, so I've got number one right, number two was wrong. Okay, let me see what I got wrong on number two. Okay, cool. I'm on the right track. I just have to change this. Okay, good. Let me change that for next time. Just talk yourself through it and encourage yourself. Don't wait for anyone else to tell you that you're doing a good job before you've told yourself. Keep that one in mind. All right. So there you have it. Five tips to carry you through your midterms. And those are from Stacey Keller. Stacey represents Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. You can follow Stacy on Instagram at I am Stacy Keller. That's Stacy with an E, and Keller is K E L L E H E R. Now, before the news fix about the forty-six million dollar renovation, here's the challenge for the week: share this episode with anyone you know who is going through midterms right now or about to start. All right, on to the news fix. 
Last week, Oakland University announced that their students are in for a $46 million treat. The institute in Rochester, Michigan has been revamping their student center. A source from the school says, the school wants a living room feel. They just want something homey for the students. The renovations will include a fireplace, a new coffee shop, a ballroom, a market, a meditation room, glass windows for natural light, updated furniture, and many other additions. The university is focusing on its project to provide a safe and comfortable place for students to study, chat, and relax. If you ever happen to be one of the 1.7 million people who visit the Oakland Center each year, please let us know about your experience. More info on this amazing project and all the sources from today's episode will be in our YouTube description box when you search School Finesse. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend so you both can succeed together. Always remember, tune in every Monday morning for a new tip on how you can finesse your way through school. Until next time, I'm your host, Amen, signing off.